Compact cars used to be terrible. They were like, you could only get air conditioning in them. Uh, you know, the automatic transmissions in them were just awful. But uh, that was like 10 years ago. Now it's 2013 and you can buy cars like the 2014 Kia Forte. It's loaded with, with everything. I mean, it's got a cool driver's seat, it's got navigation, it's got leather. It's just got essentially the kitchen, the sink, and anything you'd ever want to put in the sink. But does that make a good compact car? And for $26,000, is that a lot to be paying for a compact car? I think it's time we found out. Well, this is the 2014 Kia Forte SX with an automatic transmission, a two liter motor making 173 horsepower. Like back in the old sport compact days, 180 horsepower was like, you were, you were king of the drag races. Seventy-three out of a normal compact car is pretty amazing and it only does it only uses like 5.5 liters per 100k on the highway which is really nice because I don't like spending money on gas and I don't think any of you like spending money on gas so it's a hot day let me just get the uh, the air conditioning on it's got the uh, automatic climate control which is nice it's a nice car to drive it's sporty on the outside, it's a little bit more sporty on the inside than other uh, compact cars. This uh, SX trim level though, it's uh, $26,000 before you put freight and PDI on it. And that is a lot for a Kia compact car. But when you start to add things up, it's actually not that bad. You get the uh, leather seats, you get a ton of cargo space. I mean, all Fortes have that. Sunroof, you have fancy LED lights, you got the fancy steering, um, power everything. It's got navigation, it's got cruise control, it's got the Bluetooth audio streaming, and actually um, this nice screen here, which uh, compact cars, generally when they have the screens, like Ford does the, the big screen as well, and it's just not responsive at all. Uh, Kia did a great job with this one. You hit the button, you, know, you want to put in a destination, it's just lickety split fast. The transmission feels nice. It's got paddle shifters, pretty responsive. Let's put it in sporty mode here. It's really not a lot sporty. I mean, it's a, it's a compact car. Like, what are you expecting, right? You know what, though? It's not too bad. It revs a lot, though. Pretty, it's a pretty loud motor. So if you haven't been car shopping for a few years, if maybe you've got a, uh, a mid-size sedan from the uh, mid-90s or, or 2000s, you'll notice that a compact car now is just as big as your mid-size car. And the features you can get in vehicles now, especially in this class, in the compact crossover class, I mean, astounding, as we've gone over many times. And that's sort of it, like, it's hard to buy a modest compact car these days. So, Kia Forte, SX with the automatic, I give it an 8 out of 10. I think it's a perfectly agreeable car. A few little things here and there, but uh, nothing they can really change without a, a lot of work or a lot of upgrades. 